Hi, my name's Chris. I'm with the customer success team at Xano, and today I want to talk to you about the create variable function. Variables are one of the most important concepts to understand in Xano. You'll basically want to create a variable anytime you want to store a piece of information temporarily, or if you have something that you want to reference later on in your function stack, variables are super useful for that. So I'm going to give you a quick example here of how that works. So I have a very simple example set up here for us today. I have a users table here with just a first name and a last name in it. That's all we're going to need to show this to you. So I'm going to go over my API. I'm just going to go to the default endpoint here. And I'm going to use for this example, the get users by user ID. So this is going to return a single user record. And I can actually just show you that really quick here. So you can see we have an input. Uh, so that's just going to ask us for a user ID before we run the function. And then we have our function stack here, which is getting that single record from the users table and storing it as users. Users is going to be our first variable that we have in this function. Uh, your variables are noted in orange in your function stack. Uh, if I wanted to change the name of this variable, I could just go to the uh, output tab and I could call this user data. So we have our input of users ID and then that's getting record from the users table and storing it in the variable called user data. And then our response is just showing us the value of that user data variable. Uh, so let's run this here. I have my user ID of one specified. And you can see we have our user ID one, which is Luke Skywalker. So now let's go back here. I want to show you when you might want to create a variable. Now let's say in this function, I want to take the first name and the last name, and I want to squish them together into a single string of text. So I'm going to go down here to add. I'm going to go to data manipulation and create variable. Uh, I'm going to give this a uh, variable name of full name. And now for the value here, uh, I'm going to use a filter called the uh, sprintf to uh, fill in this percent %s, percent %s with the first name and the last name values. If you want to know more about that, definitely check out our documentation. Uh, so let me just go ahead and fill in all this really quick here. Got S print F, and then we just need to specify our arguments for that. Uh, so that's going to be users data dot first name and users data dot last name. And then we'll update that and we'll save. So now uh, if we ran this again, we wouldn't see anything different because we need to change the variable that our response is referencing. So if I go back down here and you can see. Uh, we have our list of variables right here at the top. I'm just going to click full name and save that. And now if we run this, we should, if we did everything right, be the full name, Luke Skywalker, just like that. So like I said, you can use create variable to store a piece of information temporarily that you need your function stack to reference later on, or just something that you want in your response. There's, there's a lot of different things you can do here, but creating a variable is super important to just building basic functionality in your function stack. Uh, so I hope this helps. Definitely make sure to check out more videos in our function series so you can get an idea of some of these other functions here. They do some pretty powerful stuff. And I will uh, see you in the next one.